welcome again guys we are talking about the basic modern foundation of biology through experiments the journey with experiments now we begin our discussion and in the previous discussion we have talked about the experiment 2 conducted by again Gregor Johann Mendel and what he found out is very interesting that is the factor that factor which is responsible found to be responsible obviously for transferring a particular character from one generation to the next generation that factor is having more than one version right and here we can find that in different different traits different characteristic traits of our plants pea plant chosen by Mendel now in this case in the experiment 3 again conducted by Mendel to find out that what is what is in between so so he chose some of those factors right because it becomes a little bit complicated now because at the beginning he everybody thought that even if there is a factor it can be one I mean single factor but there is no single factor there is multiple version of that factor so it becomes the thing slightly complicated now it make the things complicated so what Mendel did here again the breeding experiments crossed different flowers across different plants between themselves to find out the outcome and how these factors are involving with each other so let's see so in this case the experiment 3 we never know the conclusion here we don't know the conclusion yet we just know there are multiple version of the factor now in this case in experiment 3 what what he did here is that he took you know uh, the color let, let's say one one particular character let's say the character of uh, you know this the height of the plant right so he, what he took he took a tall plant and a short plant right and what he did here in the tall plant he crossed between the tall and short plant and the next generation what he found is tall plant on the other hand he conducted the experiment again and again with another character for example uh, the seed shape sheet shape that is round seed and wrinkled seed crossed between round seed and wrinkled seed and what he found here again round seed in the next generation right so this type of results kind of puzzled Mendel that why is it happening if that is a factor if there are one more than one version of the factor so he conducted this and he is conducting this both the experiments again and again and again so he suppose conducting this experiment hundred times with red seed with wrinkle seed and maximum of the time he is getting this round seed in the next generation right is not getting or 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 he is getting wrinkle seed in the next generation right so suppose he conducted the experiment hundred times and he got 80 times round seed 20 times wrinkle seed but never ever Mendel got the combination of these two character on the other hand he conducted the same experiment of tall plant crossed with short plant hundred times suppose he finds 75 times he got tall plants in the next generation 25 times he got let's say here 75 percent and he got short plant 25 times in the next generation but he never ever found the intermediate height never ever he found intermediate height there similarly let me take a color example that will be very good for for explaining so let's say similarly if we take the seed color for the example and in this case the green seed with yellow seed crossed between these two plants right and after that the next generation what are the possibility possibility to get you know we can get a green seed we can get a yellow seed or according to our choice these things can blend mixture can form and the form it will be you know yellow green seed so look at the possibility and probability and the percentages what we find here he found for example 70% uh, of the time green seed let's say let's say not let's say 30% of the time green seed 70% of the time yellow seed never he found yellow green seed 
Now, in both these cases, in many cases of this trait and crossing, he found this interesting fact that whatever trait he choose, whatever versions of the factor present, but they never ever blend. They are never blending. Either or event is occurring. It will be either this or this, but never the mixture of this. Similarly, in this case too, either round or wrinkled, neither round wrinkled mixture. And that is true because he has done many many times experiments and he never found out one single example of getting this blending. Or uh, uh, actually, he, he, when, when he published those results, in those results there is not a single clue of finding those blending. In future we found different blending and all these things, but different thing. But in his, in his experiment we never found that. Now, what from, from this what we can uh, infer? That those factors, whatever versions of the factors are, those factors never blend, right? So, factors never blend with each other. That is the third inference that we get from this experiment of Gregor Mendel. Whatever that factor is, we nowadays know that factor is gene, right? We are getting the close, right? But we never know. In that time, he called it a factor, but that factor never gets blend between each other, right? It is either one or none, but never blending. So that's the third experiment.